again obviously I'm back I've just filmed my beauty haul and if you haven't watched that I will put some link around here magic links to take you to that video if you want to watch part one I suppose of this haul which is the beauty side but yeah I picked up some few few fashion bits the kind of things that I told you weren't in my last haul because you know they didn't get here in time and whatnot and I thought that you guys they're kind of things that I thought that you guys would be interested in and thought I would go ahead and show you anyway even though it's only a small kind of fashion haul. So the first thing I got is this freaking like immense hairband that I'm wearing right now and it literally takes me back to being about eight years old um, but it's basically one of those like really like 80s or 90s like velvet hair bands and this one is from a vintage shop called the Rusty Zip that is around the corner for me and it was just one of those like pieces that was just screaming at me it was just kind of hanging out casually over the side of one of those vintage suitcases and it was screaming at me to buy it and it was only 250 and um, and I've just never seen anything like it before it reminds me of a kind of like an Irish dancing sort of um one but it has some sort of crown on it and um Fleur de Lis on it and yeah it just like that it looks like that and it's like I'll show you up close it's like super like intricate like beading and stuff on it and even the thread is like metal like little tiny little metal spring like I don't know like coil sort of it's not even thread it's just really like really really nice and for 250 I was like yeah you're mine so that was the first thing I got um, and it's from a brand called Puff Bows made in England <laughs> humanity has been restored next thing I got which is also on me so I might as well talk about it is this awesome and slightly twisted because I tied it really really quickly um lion head necklace um and i got it from ebay um i don't know i i think rihanna was like seen wearing one of these and they all just went crazy for them but i actually just really really like it anyway um and i got it from ebay and i think it was around 20 euro it wasn't the cheapest but hey i thought it was worth it and it feels really good it's not plastic or anything gold either but i mean it's sort of sort of like heavier kind of metal and I really really like it um, and yeah so I'll leave the link for that in, in the down bar below now the ebay seller has really 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 bad like um, correspondence um, initially um, this should have been here weeks ago and when I didn't get it I emailed the seller saying I haven't received my item yet and they said that oh I forgot that um, there was a problem with your postage address or something like well that's my address like that's where I get everything like sent to from eBay so there should be a problem um, and they never emailed back so I thought that I wasn't going to actually receive this um, and filing a complaint thing on PayPal was really really difficult like it just wouldn't work so I just kind of took it that it was 20 euro that I lost but it actually came in the post even though that they never like bothered to mail me back even though I mailed them three times and left them bad feedback nothing happened but I mean I got the I got the thing in the end so I mean I guess I would recommend them to an extent but um just if they haven't like if you haven't got it within like a week or two I would definitely like like try and mail them or something but I mean it's here and I'm happy and it, it's freaking pimping like I really really like this I've been wearing it with every outfit I'm wearing this Romwe top today and I think it completely like jazzes it up I absolutely love the top anyway it's the one I showed you in my last haul and I absolutely love it so I really really like this necklace with it it looks badass with turtlenecks which I'm sure you've seen on my Instagram if you follow me if you don't follow me then it's right here so you can go on ahead and follow me on your iPhone while you're watching my video um, but yeah I thought it was badass and uh, pretty good value for the money I think anyway some of them do have a, a little bit of a longer chain which I don't really like with the lion's head I think that it needs to be sort of nearly either up high or just like this is like the longest I go before taking links off it um, but I really really like it and I thought that you guys might like to see that too so yeah lion heads around here I'll leave the link for that in the down bar next thing I got was just from a local boutique that I never shop in called Quiz but I just saw it in the window and I was like instantly thought of about five different outfits I could style this with um, and probably many more if I put my mind to it and it's something that a lot of people have already but I just never jumped on the bandwagon because all the ones I saw were kind of expensive like they're like 45 quid in Topshop and I don't even think they're real leather but it's just like this um, leather like leatherette I suppose skater skirt and I really like this one because it's kind of matte it's not too shiny it's thick and it kind of has the the non-seam edge which I think looks really really nice with this kind of style of skirt and yeah it's just your basic like a-line skater sky skater sky sky the uh, skater style skirt um and this was 
20 pounds which is a bit expensive but i have seen it if there's not a, i think quizzes online actually i think you can get this online and it actually might have been 15 online i don't know um but yeah i will leave if i can find it cheaper on another website i'll be sure to leave it down below something like this you'd probably see on like misguided boohoo asos you know those kind of places so um yeah i just thought of like a load of different outfits i could style this with and i don't know why it's taking me this long to get one and it's a nice length too i don't like elastic waist at all so i'll probably tuck that in um but i'll probably just cover it up with like kind of baggy jumpers anyway um but yeah it's just a nice length because the one sometimes skater skirts can sort of drown my legs so i just like this one because of the length next thing i got was from ebay and again i got this maybe two or three two-ish weeks ago maybe and um, no about two and a half I think I ordered it when I was back in Cork and um, it came I'm so excited to wear this and um, you see me Instagram a picture of it I will leave the link below so you can see what it looks like on the model because it's really hard like me showing you here but it's just um like a crochet um kind of see-through top and it just looks like this Um, it's gladly it's not as long as I actually thought it was on the, some of the pictures on ebay it looks kind of like a long top but it's kind of just like a standard length top and it's kind of like a throwback to the 70s with a slightly wider um kind of cuff it's just really really pretty sort of um crochet-ish detail um and this is probably just chinese ebay i think it was, i think lookbook store was actually the ebay seller's name but i'll leave it down below for you guys anyway and it is like it's so beautiful you can't really see the um the extent of like the effect of this like really big crochet because because it's like double sided it's on the back and on the front so it looks like really thick but actually when it's on you only like it's like it's much sheerer looking and it, it's just a really really nice design I've never been a big fan of crochet because the ones that I saw on Zara like last season and stuff they looked a bit grannyish and not that nice whereas I really really like the pattern on this one that they done so I'll be sure to style that in um, a lookbook which I'm planning I was supposed to do a Valentine's lookbook but it's pissing raining today and it's the day before Valentine's Day so that never happened but I will do like a cute outfit date night outfit sort of lookbook and I think that would be fun so be sure to like it and um, this video if you want that video next thing i got and i can finally compare them for you guys is the top shop joni jeans joni with an i um, and i got a size 12 in these which is really annoying because i thought because they're high waisted i usually go down a size and for some reason i'm always a 12 in top shop and it makes me feel like like i don't know not really big because size 12 isn't really big but it just it's so deflating for some reason because i'm like a 10 everywhere else and I'm just for some reason I'm like a standard size 12 on the bottoms like I'm the bottom of my body in Topshop but um yeah I got the black ones because I have no like plain black jeans like I have my Levi's with the studs down the sides but they're kind of tight and the studs like they're silver so they don't go with like every outfit so I just got like a plain black basic pair of jeans and between these ones and my indigo easy jeans from American Apparel I've been like wearing them constantly they're so comfortable so flattering and they go with every single outfit and um, in comparison wise I actually prefer the Topshop ones they're 30 pounds um, which is kind of pricey but like I'm already after wearing them like nearly every day this week since I bought them and um, they feel a little bit more substantial they feel a little bit thicker than the American apparel ones not by much but definitely a little bit thicker but they're just as comfortable I just find they're a little bit more warm and as well the waistband is a proper jeans kind of waistband you know it's like a separate piece sewn on to the rest of the jean whereas with the American apparel one it's sort of like a fake waistband that they kind of just draw on with seams and um, so this one like i know the waistband feels more like an actual pair of jeans um, and hence hence feels kind of like more substantial i suppose and they are cheaper and they are exactly the same i like the fact that the buttons black on these because usually with the american apparel ones are kind of color coded and um, which i like and i just they're absolutely like they're so comfortable and for like half the price i definitely wouldn't fault them at all and i would definitely recommend them overpaying 75 for the american apparel ones like honestly there's nothing about the american apparel ones that makes them better than the top shop one right i'm enjoying wearing both of them i just probably won't buy the american apparel ones again they do have like an indigo color in the american apparel one in the top shop ones too but they're a little bit darker than the wash that i have on here oh do you like my slippers oh do you like my slippers 
Yeah, I was actually wearing them today in this all black outfit. It was all black everything today, but um, I took them off so I could show you in the haul. And then lastly, but not leasty, um, I got these bad ass leggings and I saw them ages ago on um, Go Fever which is basically like sort of like an eBay thing but it looks like less legit but apparently like people actually do buy stuff off it but I never got the balls to actually pay the 20 quid for it but I found them on eBay I don't know why I didn't think of that before but they're basically sass and bide rip-offs and um, I'm sure these will probably be on high streets if they haven't been already but they basically look like these aren't they amazing? beautiful um and initially i thought this was going to look really cheap and it sort of does when it like you look up close but honestly like the overall effect i think is really 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 nice so yeah they're just your basic black leggings but as you can see and um, the edges like the panels here are like fishnet like that is freaking like it looks amazing on the legs and it's a little bit fishnet down at the kind of the side of the calf calf shin yes kind of a little bit um fishnet down here but it's all like it's opaque on the inside of the legs all the way down um so you can wear like a long t-shirt with these and it's fine because you wear covered and I like the material as well I like the actual material as well it's a little bit like it's not wet look but it's a little bit shiny and um, not too shiny but just enough um, and I think that works really well with the kind of I don't know the beading or whatever they kind of stuck on it obviously like these aren't going to be stuck on the best like I obviously like I see a little bit of it peeling off here and there already but you know I'm just going to take really good like care of them um, and not wear them too rough so yeah I thought those were pretty cool and they like photograph really really well so I got the really looking forward to styling them up for you guys and um, I just want to do a lookbook so badly I'll probably have to do two because there's just so much stuff that I want to show you guys and feature for you guys. I've been posting on my blog nearly every day so if you've missed any of my posts go down and have a look down below and um, I just recently visited an Andy Warhol exhibition which was awesome so um, I took some pictures with the work uh, on my blog that was like one or two days ago. I have what else I have some big news I'm going to be on ASOS magazine in Mar no May in the May issue I'm so excited Um, basically I'm going to be the ASOS magazine have one beauty page called Beauty Junkie and it's going to be me on it talking about my favourite products so I'm so excited there's like 450,000 400 yeah 450,000 print copies and then of course it's going to be online so all you guys can read it too and it's just going to be a really big thing for my blog I feel like and I'm so excited because I've always wanted to be like a blogger for like ASOS and be a part of that so um, because all of the like a lot of you know like Ace uh, Leanne was featured on there too um, and I'm just really really looking forward to it and um, it's going to be big things up and on for 2013 I feel like so um yeah so take a like a trip over to my blog I kind of sidestepped there um but yeah like I said I just have like a lot of posts up a lot of beauty reviews and updates and when I make new purchases I kind of tend to feature them on there before I do um on here so be sure to check all those out because it's groovy and as well thank you for everyone who's been commenting on my post lately and um, before I used to get that many comments on my blog but it didn't really bother me because just you guys coming on meant a lot to me but like lately you've been so like amazing at commenting and giving me something extra to kind of look forward to when I'm checking like my blog stuff and stuff and it's been like the feedback has been amazing and I think you guys have noticed me posting more often and you're enjoying the kind of writing that I'm putting out there um, and I think it's because I'm really actually enjoying it and taking my time with it this time um, and yeah that's about it guys I hope you enjoyed everything from this video everything that I'm wearing like I said will be in the down bar if I can find links to it I think this top is sold out but it'll probably come back it's from Romwe and yeah that's about it guys I'll see you in my next video. Peace.